Hey there, welcome back to the channel. In the interest of complete transparency, you should know that what you're looking at here is old, tired, and beyond any hope of ever improving. Of course, I mean me. The car's going to be amazing. I bought this car sight unseen off the Facebook marketplace, and the family I bought it from, super nice people, also in law enforcement, so thank you for that. They tell me that I'm the third owner of this car and that it sat idle for 30 years. It's a 1967 Ford Country Sedan. It's built on the Galaxy platform. And the 67 is a one year only body style. The 65s and 66s had a flatter front end and the 68s were different entirely, which means getting parts for this is gonna be a hoot. But I think the first thing we do is see what we got. So let me show you around. I'm guessing the first thing you notice is that the car is practically rust free. I mean, it's in excellent, excellent shape. The paint is just flawless on this thing. This exaggerated nose tip is kind of what I was talking about with the 67 body style. All the trim and the glass is intact and in place. I mean, look at this. It's like a solarium. Get this NASCAR aerodynamic wind dam thing going on here. Country sedan. Is that a bullet hole? Boy, they just don't have styling like this anymore. I mean, look at this. Yeah, Built-in rear spoiler. Fancy exhaust tip. Seems kind of loose. I mean, the roof is like perfect. The seam sealer in the drip rails is in excellent condition. This must be where they brush the wall at Talladega. This is the abbreviated side, country said. Seems like we're missing the antenna. I don't know what. Oh. Okay. I think they call this chalkboard white. Got the original steel wheels in all four of the center caps and the fella I bought it from said he put new tires on it and that looks to be true, hand kook. What do we got here? 225, 75, 15. Okay. Let's get this pointy nose like Ebenezer Scrooge. Look at the headlight buckets on this thing. That's just awesome. Well, let's check out the inside, see what we got here. Oh. Oh boy. A better use for 75 rolls of duct tape, I could not imagine. Custom upholstery work right here. What is all this in the floor? Oh yeah, I think he said he sprinkled just a tad of baking soda in here because of the odor. Door panels are in good shape. All the windows work well. Look at that. How about the little smokers do hickey? Well, yep. That's it gonna, oh, there it goes. Look at that. Mm. The dash is looking like bacon left in the pan too long, huh? And it looks like everything's here. We got wipers, lights. I don't know what that is. Oh, it's a vent thingy. Okay. Brake release, fuel, and then dummy lights for oil, temp, and alternator. You know, the previous owner tells me that this is actual mileage, 36,411. Now, while the dash and the seat and everything might not give you that impression, look at those pedals. Those pedals definitely say 36,000 miles. All right, so heat, defrost, fan. All right, put that back. Temperature, low, warm. So, no AC. What? Key. Cigarette lighter, apparently, or something. Well, there's another one here. Oh, no, that's a vent thingy. Okay, so two vent thingies and a cigarette lighter. Oh, let's see what we got here. Oh, yeah, somebody getting their nicotine fix. We'll just put that back. Let's see what we got here. Oh, yeah, he told me there's the original registration and the new registration. Uh, some other stuff. What is this? Antacid or something? I don't know what that, what that is. What do we got here? 
Oh, your choice for a buck and a quarter. <clears throat> oh, there's the cigarette lighter. Let's just let's stick that back in there. Yeah. Let's see. Oh, Band-Aids. I always need a Band-Aid. Blue Nun. Wasn't that a wine or something? Oh, a club. Bloody Mary. What's this one? Club Wallbanger. I mean, between the booze and smokes, whoever had this car was a good time. Well, we'll get all that later. Citrus. Well, looks like the headliner is 75, 80% good. Sure. Oh, yeah. We'll be able to fix that right up. Look at the back seat, though. Super nice. Oh, what's that? What do we got here? Is there more smokes? Nope. Let's just check. See what we, if we've got, you know, ventilation here. Oh, that looks fine. Oh, yeah. Oh, nice. Yeah, we're calling that good. There's just a, a light sprinkle more of baking soda back here. Huh. Yeah. If I'm right, this is the Ford version, 60s version of the, why is this so loose? Of the multi-pro tailgate. Move this. Roll the window down here. Oh yeah, look at that. open just pop it open oh yeah there we go oh hello okay so we got the spare tire jack and everything you know the guy did tell me he put a brand new tire on the spare wheel which he did and it was a little too big to put the parts back so we'll worry with that later there seems to be just a mild color difference here we can fix that. Oh yeah, we've got a super old plate and the spare tire stuff. What's, I'm afraid to look, oh my goodness. Would you look at this? Look at this. Oh, unbelievable. Huh. I think this tailgate is also supposed to Swing open this away. Swing open this away. And open. Open this way. Open this way. <clears throat> hmm. All right. Well, if we open it back up like this, let me get. Oh, man. Okay. Let's see what we got over here. Yeah, that. I think this is supposed to open. Uh, Let's lube that up. We'll douse this with some peanut butter. Get that peanut butter in there. Get in there. Uh, maybe just a little more. I'll hit this one too while we're at it. I mean, why not? Peanut butter. Now let's try it. Maybe it's a key thing? I don't know. Let's grab a key. Fella gave me all kinds of keys here. Let's see. Should be the round one. What is happening here? I don't... How's this supposed to work? I don't know. I think it's just a, supposed to spin an eternity. <clears throat> well, we'll figure that out later. Give me the key back. 
Give me the key back. Give me the. Give me the key back. Shit, give me. It doesn't want to give me the key. Give me the. Oh. Thank you very much. Just. What the hell was this? Oh, is it locked now? Oh, for Pete's sake. Did that fix it? Leave it to me to make it worse. Now look. Oh, did that do it? Now I don't know what's happening. Uh-oh. Well, now that doesn't work anymore either. What the Sam Snottenheimer? Ugh. Oh. Works perfect. And now can I get the tailgate open again? Oh, well. Listen, don't ask me how I did any of that. Well, I'm anxious to see what's under here. Right, let's figure out how I get under here. Oh, there we go. Okay. Oh, wow. Uh-huh. Yep. Yep. Let me get you in here. This is the original 289 that would have come in the car. They tell me it's all numbers matching. This is the engine and transmission that Ford put in it in 1967. The guy and his son said they did a lot of work to get it back to running again. We got a new battery, cable, starter solenoid is new. Looks like they did a pretty good job. Plug wires are new, coils new, cap looks like, vacuum canister. I mean, that's pretty impressive. Look, it has the original smog can. What do you do with that? No idea. Smog pump, alternator, okay. What's this? Some kind of I don't I don't know what that is. Power steering car. Looks like they put a STP oil filter in it. Said they put a new water pump in it. You can see that is true by the RTV there. Said he had to do some work to the fuel tank and the fuel lines too. But this is going away as soon as possible them things will burn your house down looks like we got the original brake master cylinder here no power four drum brakes let's uh, open this up and see what we got for carburation 289 cubic inches Let's see. I think there's some voodoo and sorcery and stuff that you have to do. get that off or or not. Well, okay. Oh, look in there. Get a build tag on it. Huh. That spring is a little weak. This, what's that kick down? And it's, yeah, completely not connected to anything. So there's that. Two barrel carburetor. 
Are we squirting? Oh yeah, it's squirting. Okay. Looks like it leaks a little. He said the fuel pump leaked a little too, so we might we might do something with that later. I guess we just fire it up, see what happens. Well, let's just turn the key and see what happens here. Okay. Oh, well, they clearly did not make these for fat people. Okay, here we go. Man, fired right up. Listen to that. See what I mean here? We got fuel leaks. Shut it down. Shut it down. <clears throat> uh huh. That's not good. Not good. Well, now that we know, you know, that it runs pretty well and so forth. I'll get that. Get on there. I guess that's how that goes. I don't know. This one back here. Okay, this one here. Yeah, look at that. I'll put this here. Well, we know it runs and runs well. Next thing we need to do is drive it, but I don't want to do that until we get this fuel leak taken care of. Last thing I need is to be rolling down the highway in full barbecue mode. So I think the first thing we do is clean it up. Let's see what it looks like after a good bath. You probably noticed I'm not in my home shop today. That's because I'm in a undisclosed location. <clears throat> I would tell you where that is, but you know, it's undisclosed. Okay, let's move it over to the car wash spot. Well, I'm gonna do this again. Now, what are we got going on here? Okay. Something is happening here. Well. Let's go. Let's try this. Oh, there we go. Okay. Suppose we better check the gears, huh? Let's see. Reverse. Oh, yeah, we got reverse. Okay, drive. Drive, I say. Uh oh. Second. No. Let's go down. One. We'll run to the auto parts store and get some, you know, transmission fluid. Get in the zone. Auto zone. Thanks. And let's see. Nine bucks. Yeah. 
we can go with that. Well, we'll see if this takes care of it. Hopefully it's just low on fluid and we don't have some other craziness going on here. Not sure where do we put this? Yeah, that'll be fine. I wonder how much we should give it. Yeah. About that much seem right. Yeah, sure. Okay, let's try it again. All right. <clears throat> it just fires right up. Okay, reverse. Okay. Drive. Drive, I say. Reverse. Oh. No. Nothing. Well, dang it. I guess we'll go under there. See if maybe it's a linkage thing. Oh, what have we got? What do we have here? I wonder if it has something to do with this thing that's not connected to anything at all. Like, I think that's just a, a kick down thing, though, isn't it? What is that even supposed to go to? Does that go there? Where does that go? That's definitely kicked down. Okay. I'll pull it all the way up. I don't know. Let's see if that's it. That's neutral. Ugh. Drive. Well, it likes reverse. That's just gravity. I'm in drive now, and I'm getting nothing. Let's just dump the rest of the fluid in. Maybe it was just super low, and it needs all the juice. Although that doesn't look right. But it says check while hot. Idling in park. Oh, let's just dump the rest of this in there. I mean, worst case, it overflows somewhere. Okay, one more try here. Uh, let's try that. It doesn't want to start in park only in neutral. So I think something's up with the neutral safety switch. Anyhow, let's see. Drive. Give me something. Dead. Completely dead. Well, that sucks. Well, you win some and you lose some, as they say. And it looks like today 
or taking a temporary loss. If I was in my own shop, I'd snatch that thing out and we'd see we could get this thing running, but I'm not. So I need to strategize a little bit on what we can do with this and then we'll get it cleaned up and see what we really got. But in the meantime, I'd love to know what you think we should do with this. Put your ideas down in the comments, like, share, subscribe, and remember, get off the couch and go wrench on something. We'll see you real soon. It's donating to the environment is what's happening here. <sighs>